Hey everybody, this is Rido, and we're back to Assassin's Creed 2. Let's continue. In fact, I've decided to continue the story here. We could get this Assassin's contract, sure, but I'm just gonna run over here and and move the story forward. Apparently those guys are really upset with me for some reason. Just for being on the roof. God help me! Stay back, Vince! Vori! Out of my way! If I do decide to take a little bit of a break from the story again. It would probably be the second or third to last time I could possibly even do that uh, at a certain point the only things left will be must be anonymous anyway darn it uh, the, at a certain point the only thing left to collect is the feathers If I get those done, then I've got nothing left to collect. Where is this anonymous point? Here it is. Guess I'm safe. Him down Let's move the story forward. Carnival is happening. <laughs> Antonio, we need to talk. Ezio! Ezio Auditore! Theodora, meet the most uh, <coughs> talented man in all of Venezia. Madonna. Ah, Sister Theodora. I never imagined you as a religious type. <laughs> it depends how you understand religion, my son. It's not just men's souls that call for soothing. Come, join us, Ezio. Have a drink. Meet the ladies. <coughs> Murderer! Butcher! He sliced Lucia and stole so, her money! So, Messer Ezio, let's see just how talented you are. After him! Yeah, you really didn't have time to say anything other than after him. Let's see. Kill the murderer. So. Don't come any closer, or I will carve up another one. Um, we need to use our pistol. Where is he? Don't make me kill again. Um, I don't see where he is because all the guards are in the way. Faster and faster! Stay back, dog! I'm sorry you're upset I shot a gun next to you here, but this was actual justice. Well, for every good deed, two bad deeds I suppose are necessary. This is a lesson, kids, about violence. It never ends. It just gets worse. <laughs> this is why being an assassin doesn't really solve anything. Hasn't really ever solved anything. So, storyline-wise, this makes no sense. Obviously, what they've done here is they were going to have us go back to the original house of ill repute in uh, Florence and very likely at some point they were thinking they were only gonna have Florence as their city and then they just kept adding other cities uh, to have two houses of ill repute two mistresses of two houses who are gonna play a big part 
just seems like some writer of the story is obsessed with with mistresses of whorehouses. It seems too much. You have our gratitude, Edson. Why is it wherever you go, trouble falls? Antonio, I trust you know why I'm here. I imagine to read Venice of Marco care. Barbarico. But really, Ezio, we did this once already. And this new Templar Doge is a bigger culo than the last. Never mind that he never leaves the palazzo. Yes, except for tonight. Marco wouldn't dare miss Carnevale. How do you know this? In fact, he's throwing the biggest party of them all. But getting in won't be so simple. You'll need a golden mask for entry. And before you think about forging one, keep in mind, each mask is numbered. Fortunately for you, I have an idea. Let's see if we can't win you a mask. So she's immediately all cool with you assassinating this person. What is it, my son? You want to ask me something? I do. Forgive me, but why is it you wear a nun's habit if you aren't one? <laughs> well, whoever said I wasn't. Indeed, I am married to the Lord. And yet you are also a courtesan. You run a bordello. So? I see no contradiction. How I choose to practice my faith. What I choose to do with my body. These are my choices to make. Uh, like many no. young women, I was drawn to the church. <laughs> but grew disillusioned by the believers of the city. Men hold God only as an idea in their heads, not in the depths of their hearts and bodies. Men must know how to love in order to reach salvation. My girls and I provide that to our congregation. No church would agree with me, I realized. So I created my own. It may not be traditional, but men's hearts grow firmer in my care. This is... Among other things, This I'm is sure. ridiculous. This is a ridiculous explanation. It's just stupidity. Signore, signore, come on, come all. The games of Carnevale are about to begin. Do you have the coraggio to compete for as grand a prize as this? This year, like every year, the Golden Mask will provide entry for one, a uno solo, to our most beloved Doge's personal ball. Who would not desire the such an exceptional reward? Come, compete! Whoever proves themselves champion in each of four games today shall be the Doge's personal guest tonight. So I have to... get to it, Ezio. I have to do... Four games, which what are these gonna be? Probably ridiculous things. Signori, signori! This may be the easiest challenge yet, or the hardest. A game of charisma and charm. Step right up, step right up! Who shall win the prize? Let's see if we can do this. <laughs> Welcome! Gentlemen, whether you win or lose, this will certainly be your favorite game of the day. Ladies, here's how the game is played. All the ladies in the district have ribbons. Your job is to obtain them. Whoever has the most before my hourglass runs out is one step closer to winning the golden mask. So am I pit parking them? Or it's kind of like tag football or something, I guess, without the tackling. Steal the ribbons from the girls, all right? Come Have anything for me, <laughs> belle mm. So while I'm doing this, I can, uh, I suppose. <laughs> You're all looking lovely this afternoon. So. Let's try to move kind of fast here. Oh, Hello. Morning. 
trouble you for a river. So, this is like the first time in the game that being a pit pocket actually was used. It seems actually kind of ridiculous that we haven't used it more. There haven't been quests or, or such. Apparently I'm missing a big portion of those. You're all looking lovely this afternoon. Hmm. And stealing from more than one of them, I think, <laughs> actually, Five. Hello. Twenty-eight. We have a winner! You have more ribbons than any man here. You've proved yourself a favorite of the ladies <laughs> and are now one step closer to the greatest prize of all time. Maybe Rosa the Thief will appreciate my pickpocketing skills. I don't think the other ladies would. So each one of these are their own separate memories. So uh, it actually means I'll be done with this whole section of the like gosh. This is really far away. They're they're both rather far away, aren't they? Mm. I would have thought all of the games would have been in the, that area. But apparently not. My villa chest is about to fill up again. Why wouldn't? Who's next? Step right up! Welcome! Benvenuti! Are you ready to test yourselves with a game of speed and endurance? Sure. Many challenges lie in your path. The game is simple, but finishing it, near impossible. Start when you're ready. The first contestant to beat the course record is one step closer to the Golden Mask. So, it's gonna be a race. Are you going to point me in the right direction, or am I going to have to turn around? It's fine. I'm trying to get my footing here. They specifically had us run through the fire, people. See, without that flyby, without showing me exactly where the race is supposed to be, I have no idea if I'm making the right moves. At least it feels like they got rid of a lot of the people on the rooftops. Another leap of faith there. Thirty-three seconds to go through two of these. I think I can get that. The winner! You've proven yourself the fastest and strongest in Venezia. You are now one step closer to the grand prize. Now they don't know that he is the assassin, because if they did, 
they would have either run or arrest him. They're just, I guess, generally upset that somebody is winning their contest, which makes no sense because almost certainly somebody has to win these. Don't they? It's, it doesn't feel like these things are rigged. So mad dash now to the third one. I could have sworn that one of these would have just been a bare knuckle boxing Step right up. match. Come on, come on! It's time for a game of skill and agility. Welcome, welcome! The rules of the game are simple. Outrun your opponents, take the flag from the middle of the field and bring it back to your starting position to score. If the opposition holds the flag, you must knock them down to steal it. Be the first to capture the flag three times, and the golden mask may yet be yours! Okay. CTF, capture the flag. This is almost a reference to the first game with all the flags. Uh, where is the flag? Now we run to the goal. Where is the goal? Where's my base? Is my base up here? Uh, my base is up here, alright, fine. Score, get ready for the next round. Retrieve the flag, okay. Notice we are very much walled in. better. Well, this is pretty boring doing it three times. Opponent has the flag. Oh, no. Well, it's probably gonna score on me. Where is he? Well, it's scored. Get ready for the next round. So now I've got to heal before I can make this jump. Darn it. Show some respect. So I had to knock him down probably once. That'd be my guess at least. That they they made him a little bit faster the uh, third time. Won the game. Still kind of boring game. We have a winner. I'm surprised you there wasn't a boxing match. You've proven yourself a warrior without fear, and inch ever closer to victory. He didn't even do any warrior stuff.
Like, none of that had anything to do with fighting. And for an Assassin's Creed game, why? Why didn't it have to do with fighting? I don't know. Moving the story forward. Let's actually look at the DNA sequence just for a quick second here. And... See, sequence 9, ribbon roundup, CTF, and they're off for each memory. So there's only two more memories of this area. Which is fine because there's not that much as far as the map. If we look, there's only one, maybe two Assassin's Quest. Step right up and join the fight! Benvenute lottatori! The game is simple. There's only one rule. Oh, no there are weapons. four of them. Fight until you are the last man left standing. This one wasn't unlocked until you? the others. Or two. Hmm. Who will win the golden mask? I could see people getting stuck on any one of those and not really succeeding. Next. This is going to be pretty easy. Maybe if my equipment wasn't so upgraded, this would be hard. Looks like this one thinks himself some kind of campione. Go on, Dante. Show him how sadly mistaken he is. Hmm. Maybe they're just trying to oppress people. So it's taking three hits to take down one bar of life. So in all actuality, he has three times the amount of life as everyone else. else to challenge our man in the ring? Do we have a winner? Again, they still don't know if he's an ah, assassin. We have combatants. He's sending the guards with weapons. So that's how it's going to be, eh? Hmm. Let's go ahead and disarm it. Use their own weapons against them. Sure you wanted to start this fight? Get him in the corner. Just kill him that way. Signore e signori, the games of Carnevale have come to a glorious conclusion. Come see our winner claim his golden mask. <laughs> How the story ended that way, I don't know. Foot, the strongest of champions, the wisest His lips bleeding and again. A favorite of the ladies. So, this is where the scar could have shown up, too. The winner of the golden mask is... <laughs> the winner of the golden mask is Dante Moro. Congratulations. We'll see you this evening. Cheaters. Why even offer the gold mask in? <sighs> they needed a scene there. Some kind of cutscene to, to explain why they had to offer it. Because it was tradition. Uh, a conversation or something. That felt rather pointless. Unsatisfactory to do all that work and get nothing for it just to move the story forward
I'm sorry, Ezio. We could not have known Silvio would cheat as he did. <laughs> you should have. Sister, you told us to let you know if we saw that rotting Golo who stole the golden mask. He's on his way to the Doge's party. I will go. I can catch him before he arrives and take back the mask. How? By killing the poor Stronzo? Yes. You know what's at stake. No. If you kill him, they'll cancel the party. And Marco will retreat back into his palazzo. We'll have wasted our time again. Steal the mask instead. Quietly. My girls can help. They're already on their way to the party, all along the route. They can help you distract him while you acquire the mask. Va bene. I can do that. Hmm. Don't kill the bodyguard. Alright. So, what's weird there is it almost implies that the girls are allowed into the... Uh, are allowed in the party. Ben. By default, but they couldn't get the guy in. Looking for a target. El campione approaches, so let us sing for joy. Strikes down even a guardsman. Okay, the girls and boys. Prices so low, you won't believe your eyes. Where's our target? Just Take a look. I promise. Looking for a time? Help us out. It's been such a slow day. And we're approaching the exit. We have a ring. Deal. <laughs> These girls are everywhere, but where is our target? Must be over here. There he is, I see him just around the corner. All yours. Have fun. <laughs> so Left successful. Crash the party. So am I wearing the golden mask right now? Nope. So I haven't put it on yet. Do I just walk through here? Checkpoint reach, good. Targets. No, just walk through the guards. Buonasera, signore. Why did he get in my way if he's just saying good evening? We made it. Marco is on a boat just offshore. He's set to make a speech in a few minutes. Use my girls until then. Move with them to stay out of sight. So this is the trailer of the original game, where... <laughs> so I need to... Slowly work my way. I don't even know what I'm supposed to do. Apparently nothing. Hmm. Find him! Remain anonymous. Uh, not good. Is 
So I need to just remain anonymous for a minute. Nice little group here. Well, aren't you sad? Yeah. Feast my eyes upon. Mm -hmm. Five more seconds. Very strange to have to have to just remain hidden for a time. Signore e signori, I present to you the beloved Doge of Venezia. Benvenuti. Welcome, my friends to the grandest social event of the season, at peace or at war, in times of prosperity or paucity, Venezia will always have Carnaval! They are done. He's not leaving the boat. I will have to swim out there. They wouldn't try it. You'll be spotted right away. Then I'll fight my way out there. Wait! Tonight, we celebrate what makes us great. How bright our lights shine over the world! That's it! Your pistola! The one you stopped the murderer with! It's as loud as those explosions. Time it right, and you'll walk out of here unnoticed. I like the way you think, sister. I so I'll be I'm waiting for you to... back at the brothel, my son. All know we have come through trouble times, but ready? we have come through them together, and Venezia stands a stronger city for it. Transitions of power are difficult for all, but we have Can weathered I just shoot? the shift with. Apparently. Apparently there was no actual timing in that. No. It's too soon. I'm not ready. We rarely are. Que la morte non sia crudele. Requiescat in pace. Escape the party? Fine. Easy enough to do. And we swim. I just want to swim slightly so I don't hit the border of the world. And we're good. So no breaking of a, someone's mask and no slicing of someone's throat while in the middle of carnival. At least not yet, and I bet not ever, because I suspect in about five seconds we're gonna end carnival and move forward in time and be done with the whole mask thing. Who's this guy? I could kill him right then and there. Not well, so chose. I guess we should adapt the Assassin's Creed of staying your blade. Only killing when it's absolutely necessary. Getting discovered and then escaping has become really really easy to do both I'm highly notorious right now and that that's where the benefit of getting all of the assassin contracts done or most of them and 
getting all of the treasure chests and doing all of those things before this inevitable action took place comes into a benefit. So if the rest of the game I'm going to be notorious in this area, which may not be the case, in fact, quite possibly isn't the case. I don't want to know. Why would any? Keeps him fit, I suppose. Just need to climb over to this other house. It would have been so much better if the the madame from Florence just moved to Venice and then we had the same character return. Beautifully done! Yes, Que spectaculo! A true hero! You must be exhausted. Come, relax. Ah, the savior of Venezia. What can I say? Perhaps it was wrong of me to doubt so readily. Now, we'll see where all the pieces fall. Enough of that now. You've worked hard, my son. I feel your tired body in need of comfort and succor. But this I have guy. such aches and pains, sister. I may need a great deal of comfort and succor. This is like number oh, seven. Girls. <laughs> it's like... So this is potential wife or mother of his child at least number eight or twelve they're really really playing with this hmm. Hmm. I am now incognito Is this going to be Venice? Mm. Looks like a different district. So I'm on the bridge again. Ezio, Ezio, Sir Antonio wishes to speak with you. Grazie for the message. So I'm incognito, and where are we? We are here. We can go this way. And there's really not anything else to do, except for an assassination contract. So we know that there's a sequence 10. It's only, it has four actions. So much to this game. Why do I see a Templar thing though? That wouldn't make sense. You want to rob some Templars? I've marked the arsenal on your map. It's some kind of Templar base, so there's going to be all kinds of loot in there. Hmm. Where? Hmm, maybe these Templar things were DLC. I could just come in the front door like a normal person, but where's the fun in that? Notice this wall looks very familiar because it's right where Rosa was shot in the leg with an arrow. They simply repeated it on the water side of the building where you're highly unlikely to ever look. Ha <laughs> ha 
there you are. Come, Ezio. I'd like to introduce you to an uh, associate. This is Agostino Barbarico, soon to be Doge of Venezia, thanks to you. È un onore fare la vostra conoscenza, illustrissimo. I'm sorry for the loss of your brother. He had it coming. He was bought and paid for by the Borgia. A mistake I have no intention of making. Come, Ezio. We have much to discuss. Hmm. We've located Silvio Barbarico for you. He's fled into l'arsenale. <laughs> fled? You mean occupied and joined by 200 mercenari, no less. You're doge now. Can't you command them to stand down? The committee of 41 has yet to confirm my ascension. And this little stunt of Silvio's has only made things worse. He has an entire army at his command. Then help me to raise my own. I figured you'd say as much. Bartolomeo Dalviano is the man you seek. He and his men have little love for Silvio. He resides within the military district, southwest of L'Arsenale. Va bene. I'll go and see him. So, is that a new district to Venice, or is it a new, whole new area? So, we have done some storyline with thieves, we've done some storyline with with prostitutes. Now I guess we'll do some storylines with mercenaries. Have to go all the way over here just to get to a race. And then from the race is the memory and the seems like a whole nother section. If Silvio was, Barbarigo. Wait. Raised by wealthy merchants. How about instead of that, let's find a fast travel station, and then we'll go to the villa. Like, do I have any? Do I have any codexes? I have one encrypted codex. I could go get it done. Leonardo. It's probably a waste to even bother to do this right now, but whatever. Wish there was a fast travel station right in front of his house like there was in Florence. Leonardo! Ezio, so good to see you. How can I help you? Haha! <laughs> You found another it's the same cutscene. exciting! I've seen this cutscene before. Is this an inverted Caesar shift? If I just substitute these letters here, I've got it. Alright, next. We go for this. Venice is really, really big at this point. They've, they did a pretty good job about not making the game originally that big. Keeping things simple, keeping things small. But now it's gotten too big, too out of control. Uh, this is a consistent problem with future... Assassin's Creed games as they start giving you these larger and larger areas that are just not necessary. <laughs> it's not necessary that they're that big. And sometimes the areas are full of stuff and sometimes the areas are rather empty. So since I moved this story forward, I might be able to purchase a couple more things to purchase. There's one or two items still. Let's see. Salute, Claudia. You here to look at the book? Well, 92% done. The thing we still need is feathers and codexes. 
and one weapon and one piece of armor. You can collect the money out of the out of the book. Two more. Two more to collect. And the last one is almost certainly in the story related. Three more feathers placed. For as nice as you make this area, you really don't do anything with it. It's it's pointless. No armor needs to be repaired. I assume that's because... Apparently I changed all my armor from the Altair armor by doing that, and that's not what I want. Medium knife belt. Maybe I can finally get like a large knife belt. That would be nice. Come and see me next to pass this way. Come, friend. Knife belt upgrade. Large poison vial, nice. Excellent. Treasure maps, nothing. Ja, I understand. I'll have more outer pieces. There's some. And medicines. I definitely need more medicine. And poison. Use some poison. That should heal quickly now. Right. Now I need to go back and switch my web my armor back onto alter your armor. It's it's a little strange they didn't just go further with Ezio. They could make have made seven games with Ezio. They made three games with it. So Armor of Altair. Let's see. So that's all the armor of Altair. Re-equipped, apparently you have to wear it all. So you can't turn even one piece difference, which is fine. There's no reason why you wouldn't want to wear it all. And... If we look back Claudia. here... You here to look at the book? We're at 94% done now. We have... Let's see... All the equipment except for one weapon. And... Then a couple other things to do. A presto, Ezio. There must be some weapon to purchase. It's still not available. 250,000 gold in their pocket. I could probably just bribe and purchase all the Templars. <laughs> just like... Success through economic victory. Alright, so by coming back here... It now gives me 
the opportunity to move over here to Castello of Venice, which means I don't have to run around the entire side of the building, of the entire map. We are way over here. Alright. First things first. Let's get that synchronization. And let's find the store. Isn't that thing? Hey, I see a symbol there too. And here's a feather. Hopefully this symbol isn't as difficult as the last one. It's getting harder. All the pain across time. It hurts too much. She sees me raise the knife. Only a little bit longer now. Yes, only a little bit longer. Medical access granted. In the beginning. Oh, Genesis. You're really gonna give this to me? Genesis. Hmm. Let's see, 603 tells me that Zero and three are gonna be left out. And so then six is going to be this upside down. So three of this. And then three. Hmm. C, C, and then pitchfork, pitchfork. Hmm. What's the thing that's going to be in the middle? C, three pitchforks? Nine pitchforks? No. Five pitchforks? Nope. CCC that that maybe maybe that one maybe that one maybe that one just try them all I think I've gone through them all at this point Zero, three, maybe three, six. Maybe that's it. And then zero would be this. And C one or C. Hmm. Yeah, I think C1, then CY. It's CY, then CYY, then YYY, YY, and then CC. Hmm. And then CC, YYY, CCC, YYY. try this one again just trying to brute force it I want to give it a college try here before I 
look up the answer online again. It's the zero that's the real thing. It's like, that's the one that makes no sense. If I decided this was three and CC that is zero, then CYY. Why, why, I think. Ah. We'll just move everything up one. Move everything up one. Move everything up one. All right, this is a hard one. This is a hard one. It's fine. Those numbers on the screen, they've got to be there for a reason. I don't know if this helps, but I know the symbols on the wheel. They're Sumerian numerals. Those tree shapes, they're ones. And the sideways Vs are tens. Maybe the numbers and the Sumerian numerals connect somehow. So one plus six plus two plus six. Okay, fine. That would be nine. And so nine and then plus two plus one plus seven plus five, that would be seventeen. Then plus plus three and plus five is uh, 25 plus another 10 is 35 I give up I give up I don't I don't want to bang my head against this wall not for what I know it gives you it's just frustrating it's pointless now, fortunately, I don't have to give up and just, like, not see the answer, because the internet now does fortunately exist, but I certainly don't want to have to find the solution myself. I think I cheated the first time, too. This is, this is cryptic for no reason. Let's see. screen is a little too small for what I'm trying to do. I've got two of these right. Is that not it? Alright, let's see. What did I do wrong? Maybe you have to actually align the ring wheel. All right. So six is Y, Y, Y. Zero is this. And then this one should be one of these. So let's just go through them all and see. What have I got wrong here? Six is right according to this. There we go. The organization wanted the pieces. They tasted their power. But what were the pieces? Why did they work so well? 
It's as if our minds were made for them, manufactured to obey. Alright, moving on. Let's hit the synapses, I suppose. As the piece of Eden here seems to work so well on people. So here's your next three frames. The next three frames. We'll watch it all the way from the beginning. There are two more. You think it's really going to show anything that interesting in two more collections? Three frames at most? Mm. I can guarantee you it's not. Alright, so next time we need to run further down this direction. Unless there's a synchronization point I could find over here, which without actually finding one, which I don't believe I can. So I need to run over there and sync and we'll move the story along a little bit more. Let's see, we are up to sequence 10. There's not a lot that's going to happen in sequence 10, 11, 12, and 13. I think all exist and I think they all happen pretty shortly. At some point, I guess I do need to come back and finish off these remaining assassination missions. There's only one race left. We know where it is. It's in Fort Finis. Uh, there's one more beat em up we haven't unlocked. There's a lot of feathers that we're going to have to make a hard decision there. And there's one more Templar, Templar layer that we can get. And then viewpoints. Let's see, seven more in Florence and let's see, 13 more in Venice. It seems like Venice is just gonna get bigger and bigger. Well, that's gonna be it for this recording. As always, I ask you to like, share, subscribe, comment if you want to, and watch every second of my videos. All of that helps out. If you want to support me, you can click on my name, Rido. On the right is a blue button that says support this channel. Click it, make a donation. And if you want to friend or follow me on basically any social media sites, there's a whole bunch of links down below. Thank you for watching. Have a good evening.